In this lesson, we'll discuss the base hydrolysis of esters. Question 1 reads, ethyl acetate is a solvent used in fingernail polish, plastics, and lacquers. Write the balanced chemical equation for the hydrolysis of ethyl acetate with sodium hydroxide. I want to begin by drawing out what ethyl acetate looks like. We are told that it is an ester, and we can also derive that it's an ester from its name. We have the alkyl group, ethyl, and when esters are formed, you have a carboxylic acid and an alcohol coming together. So this part of the name always addresses the alcohol part of that molecule. So we have ethanol. It is CH2, CH3, and we have an OH. And acetate, the word, is the anion version of acetic acid. And acetic acid is a carboxylic acid whose IUPAC name is ethanoic acid. So acetic acid looks like this. That's the common name for ethanoic acid. And we draw it out by writing out two carbons, CH3. This is double bonded to oxygen, and this is single bonded to OH. So when these two come together, they will form an ester and it will have the name ethyl acetate. What happens is we have a linkage of this part to the carboxylic acid. So specifically we have CH2 and CH3, that's this part, single bonded to oxygen and that's single bonded to this part of the molecule. So this is what ethyl acetate looks like, what you see here, and we have the ester bond right here. Okay, so we're mixing this with sodium hydroxide, NaOH, and we have to find out the products of the mixture of these two. Now, of course, we're going to assume that heat is applied, so I'll write down heat over here, and I know this is not how you conventionally show the products and reactants, but just bear with me. So when you mix these two together, first of all, NaOH is a strong base, so it will completely dissociate into Na plus and OH ions. So after these two are mixed, the ester bond breaks right here. And you form temporarily a carbonyl with CH3. So let me show you that. So you have a carbonyl with CH3. The OH will then form a bond with this carbon. And you form this carboxylic acid, which quickly dissociates where this hydrogen breaks off, making this oxygen temporarily negative and it forms the bond with Na+. This part of the molecule remains as the alcohol. So we have CH3, CH2, oxygen forms a bond with hydrogen. That's also found in the solution. So we have ethanol forming and we also have this molecule forming which we call sodium ethanoate. Remember that ethanoate is the ionic name for ethanoic acid, a carboxylic acid that we had originally here. That's the answer to question number one. Let's move on to question number two. Draw the condensed structural formulas for the products from the hydrolysis of methyl benzoate with potassium hydroxide. So let's go ahead and figure this out. We have methyl benzoate, and this is what it looks like. You have a benzene molecule. That's six carbon ring, and the OATE means that it was once a carboxylic acid. So we can say that we have carbon double bonded to oxygen, and this is single bonded to oxygen and a methyl. And we're mixing this with KOH, potassium hydroxide, which dissociates into potassium and hydroxide. As before, we will expect a breakage right here because the hydroxide will technically attack this carbon. And we will form CH3OH, which is methanol. That's the alcohol part. It's the alcohol. Plus the rest of the molecule. The rest of the molecule, and let me just draw that out and explain what you need to know. So the carbonyl group, and you'll have a bond formed with this carbon whose charge is negative, and that attracts the potassium cation. 
This is called potassium benzoate. Let me write that down. Potassium benzoate. That's the answer to question number two. And that is what happens during the base hydrolysis of esters.